back to Let's Play Mass Effect 3, everybody. I'm Hunter Black Luna, and it's time for the final mission. Just in case, why don't we recast our, our, our uh, ammo powers, guys? Just in the interest of making sure. And now, we must push on ahead to that beam thing. That'll take us to the Citadel if we can capture it. All companies report in. Artillery companies able through Foxtrot are en route. Roger that. Golf through November, taking out right flank. Pressing awesome. forward. Hell yeah. Well, is that the way forward? I guess it is. Mako tanks. Uh oh. Oh goodness. Ambush. I see him. That's one. Well, now they know we're here. You ain't getting a meal tonight, cannibals. Warp ammo causes you to do more damage against lifted targets. It's one of the many reasons why warp ammo is the best. He's eating his buddy. I know he is up there. Well, they all are already upgraded, so... I don't know. Shields down. Fucking shields down. Singularity, and that'll work. And there you go. Put you in your place. Also, Grenada. And one of these, and one of those. And once again, your proper place. Hell, that is, yeah. Now that I'm playing this during the daytime, it's a bit harder to see, given how friggin' dark it is in the middle of night in London with no electricity, no nothing. Alright, no survivors from the tank, it looks like. Anybody know how the hell we're supposed to take down a destroyer with tanks? Vanix missiles can do a fuck ton of damage. If you say so, cut the chatter. You heard the Admiral. No retreat. Yeah. Oh... Big Harvester, take it out. Yes. Oh fuck. So if we save the tank, does it help us? Where's the Banshee? Where's the tank already down? Was it supposed to die? We've had a couple issues with that in this LP. Where are you, Miss Banshee? Also, where is cover? We may have to do a bit of backpedaling, everybody. I'm just gonna go ahead and say we should be doing backpedaling. How the fuck? I want maximum firepower on that target. Thing fucking dead. Fuck you. We're taking heavy fire from the second story. Request assistance. Working on it. Try to clear the building. Why don't you guys help with the banshee? I 
am basically Jesus. Okay, Shepard, we'll try it again. There we go. Try to clear this story first. How about that? I fucking hate bandits so much. I would say it's remarkable, but we all know exactly why I hate banshees. Alright, reloading. So I'm to switch to something that isn't this weapon. These don't have ammo powers on them? Thermal clips? No. I guess we need more now. Luckily, they do the glowy, flashy thing. He said with the utmost of eloquence. Okay, let's save. I don't see a second story anything. Reaper strong point ahead. Yeah, I get the strong whiff of scripted death was supposed to happen. Oh, that's cool. We can actually see vehicles moving along. That's like in uh, Gears of War 2, which I remember was an awesome segment when the whole army is rolling out. That was one of my favorite segments. Anything that a game could do to make you feel like you're part of an army, and I gotta say, Mass Effect uh, 3 does that really well. At least story-wise. You know, gameplay-wise, it's still, you know, Shepard and her two bros against every force in the universe together. But they try. Okay, one last quick save, and then... Got lots of husks. Like this is a good situation for a grenade. There we go. Okay, that was pretty good. <laughs> Not all of them, though. So accurate, if only the damage wasn't shit. Even with more ammo to help. Why is there a yellow thing on it? Oh, whatever. <laughs> it's so fragging dark, it's hard to see anything. And that's with my like, shades down. Oh, goodness. Time for another grenade, everybody. Oh goodness, there's two. Okay. You really like doing this, don't you, Mass Effect? God damn it. There's no fracking room. I'll get you in a moment, Liara. Fuck it, I'll get you now. Shepard! That's one. Garrus, did you just take out the husk? That's pretty badass. And that's... Two. Don't ask me how I'm giving orders to Liara if she's down. Some more guys. You know, for two brutes, they died. That's warp ammo for you. Hellishly effective on armor. Not to mention Garrus with his friggin' Black Widow and armor piercing rounds. There is no doubt that that contributed heavily to our glorious victory. Okay, ammo full. One grenade left. 
That's my only wish is I could fill up back on grenades. Because I know there's going to be more to fighting ahead. And I'm kind of doing the opposite of what I usually do. I'm forcing myself to use the grenades in more situations. Because normally I hoard stuff like that. Like metagel and grenades. To an unhealthy degree. Getting slaughtered out here, Commander. Oh, we are working on it, soldier. We are working on it. Damn it. You know, I suppose that in the grand scheme of things, I should be more. Oh my god, so that's the final assault. I'm cool, kinda. I do hate Ravagers, though. Uh, Garrus, go ahead and. I don't know, you'd be more effective hitting that thing. Ooh, we got it. Damn grenade. Yeah, damn cannibals. They're not firing on you anymore. I wonder what's back there. Huh. I love biotics. There you go. Put you down. Thanks. We're moving again. Good to hear, I guess. Thanix missile battery. Yeah, you keep moving. You're gonna need every tank of that Reaper. Also gonna need to figure something out. Let's rifle through the kitchen real quick. Likely not much left. So I'm back up to 8 Metadil. Did I ever use one? Pretty sure I did, and Liara just got knocked down again immediately. Oh, this is some Fallout stuff right here. Makes sense. End of the world is end of the world, guys. Okay, not much here. The next missile battery is ahead. I am glad it's not just us out here though. Like I said, like the lone thing. That's one of, that was one of my complaints about the Halo series. It was one dude who's awesome against like the universe. Well that's familiar. Deja vu everybody. some cover but it gives them a place to hide yeah roger that that's the nature of urban fighting <clears throat> urban fighting excuse me perfect time for my voice to break charge into battle prepare for glory I still once again I didn't do it right uh, whatever there now I did it right. Fucking marauders everywhere. Closest the Turians ever came to invading Earth, I suppose. Garrus. Thank you. God, your overload sucks, Garrus. Barely does anything to their shields. Ooh. There we go. I can't believe you're still alive after that, man. Ow. Thermal mag. Locust is a little on the wimpy side. Go ahead and switch to the scorpion. I know the locust is supposed to be better against shields, but it's a little. Man, the perspective on that is not. Yeah. See, 
is the kind of fighting I prefer with enemies I know I can overcome. <laughs> Show them about merit values. That is, shooting people a lot in foreign countries. Although I guess in the future, nowhere's a foreign country. Although countries still do exist, there is a little uh, confusion about that, because in most sci-fi, like, nations like the U.S. don't exist anymore. It's just, you know, Earth. Nations do exist here, but it's just the Systems Alliance controls everything, like, beyond Earth. It's like... Uh, space UN NASA that would that doesn't suck totally now it sort of does and we've seen that but it's like an extra national body so that everyone can still have their nations down on earth and all that stuff but in space we agree not to nuke each other over like Mars colonies this is echo company there's not enough room to maneuver the tanks in here oh. I guess we'd be fighting every kind of regional troop. Well, you know what? You're priority one, asshole. Fuck you! Oh, it's good. That sound means brutes, I believe. I actually think we should kill the little guys first, and then we'll have more room to maneuver when we're dealing with brutes. If we have time for that, which we kind of don't. No, we kind of don't. Yes, that was that was a nice shot. I saw that. Shepherd, Shepherd, and you hit anyway. I don't understand anything. Incoming. Activate the charge, Doctor. Ooh, did it die? Where the fuck did you come from, exactly? No, well, never mind. As I said in an earlier part, I know where you're gonna- Ooh, that was an amazing shot, Garrus! I heard the and I'm like, is the grenade about to kill me? Because I'd be so small. Emotionally. Bad. Bad husk. No. Good work, Phalanx. Yeah, I praise the gun and not the squad mates. That's the kind of leader I am. Only one brute that time. That's nice. I've killed so many of those fuckers. Not even necessarily a boast, although, uh, it could be seen as such. As just a Jesus, there's a lot of brutes in this game. They're more analogous to Halo Hunters. Of course I'd leap in here, wouldn't I? God damn it. Let's hook around this. Fuck you! Nobody does that! Who does that? Okay. Why does that noise sound like there's a brute in here with us? And I'm sure to answer that question is... Because there is, boss. Locust is supposed to be effect especially effective against shields as an SMG. Honestly, it looks like it does the same damage to either type of thing, but hey. I'm just a filthy communist. Able companies broken through. Huh. Christ, that destroyer is huge. Into position. The rest of Hammer is still en route. Well, at least he can get back out. 
Yes, good for him. You guys holding up back there? Ooh. Just, what the hell? Ooh. Squad mates still take that like a champ. Whereas Shepard kinda really can't. Fucking grenades. Ugh. I hate you guys so much. God damn it. There we go. Right in what passes for your face. I think I had the conversation before about shooting cannibals in the face. It was a little more difficult than. Well, actually, shooting husks in the face is really tough because they move so fucking fast and erratic. I hate it when zombies move fast and erratic. That's like one of their main weaknesses. It's like in Twilight when the vampires don't have any weaknesses and they're just better than us. It's like, why haven't they taken over the world then? Why do humans survive if there's nothing we can use? Even the Reapers have weaknesses. Mostly it turns out to uh, orbital bombardment, which... Hmm, I probably have a weakness to that too. John Freeman shot a rocket at it. Because that was its weakness. Of course. You got it. Is the missile battery in here? Nope. Also, can't save. That suggests another fight is about to happen soon. Okay, cannibals. Throw lots of grenades like bitches. Come on, Leon. Guys. It's that it's that cover spot she has. It's what sometimes happens, Shepard gets in a particular cover spot. She can't fire or anything because of the way the cover system is designed. It's exactly like that. Mother Humper. I hate multi part battles where I can't save. Fucking hate them. At least there's plenty of ammo here for everybody. By everybody, I mean me. Your AI squad mates do not have ammo requirements. <clears throat> wonder if we'll be finishing the fight in this uh, session. Probably. I cleared extra hard drive space so I could record this in one run, hopefully. Okay, missile batteries up ahead. You know what? Always lead with the Black Widow. Huh. Maybe I should be talking more about Doctor Who and not Battlestar Galactica. All the Doctor Who fans are like, yes. the destroyer spotted us. We're prepping Fanix missiles. Uh oh. Hold your fire. You won't do anything but piss it off. Yeah, we're gonna need like five hundred. Also, remember to hit it when it's opening up to fire, which makes sense. You know, if it's just cannibals, I mean... Just cannibals. Of course, I'm sure there's more nastiness over there. Uh, that's about where the enemy is. Green door. Which probably means way forward. Okay, there are many. There are many here among us. 
Really? You guys are gonna hole up like that? That's actually not bad cover, all things considered, guys. Oh god. I don't like the sound of what's going on in there. Negative, yeah. Fucking shit. I'm on it. Yeah, right. Please don't get left behind. Sorry I paused during dialogue, folks. That happened a lot in uh, 2, and sometimes in 1. Well, you know what? I pause frequently during fights to plan my next move, or more frequently just give orders. I kind of think the dialogue should keep going. Now I know it wouldn't make any sense, but it'd be just more convenient. And sometimes in games you make a trade-off like that. Oh, thank Christ. A save, finally. Can we see the destroyer ahead yet? No, it can't. Well, up and over. The colors on that one look familiar. Storefront looks like maybe a cafe. Either way, this is clearly the way forward. There's something behind the door. Still no grenades whatsoever. Here's the thing that gets me. I read a little bit ahead. I didn't read spoilers for the ending, but I read something like your war readiness and your assets determine, well, a lot of things, first of all. But they determine how uh, badly your forces get trounced, and if you have good war assets and good war readiness, your guys are supposed to hold their own. Well, that sure doesn't sound like what's... It sounds like we're taking heavy casualties every step along the way. But I checked. My readiness is, as of this moment, 95%. Because it decays like a bitch. I'd still call that pretty high, though. You wouldn't think the game would distinguish. Especially with the way it decays. So I'm a little worried. Now, of course, this, this doesn't get the good ending. I don't know what fucking will. Okay. Fuck you. Let's try that instead. Then they'll just die of warp damage. Yeah, looks like. Waters ain't too bad to deal with, all things considered. Too. Not much room to do fancy bullshit. Now, of course, it's still worth trying. Ooh, that was nice. Okay, we can't save. Really not liking this approach. Also, doesn't Garrus have a level up? Yes, he does. I figured. 
Everyone was probably screaming, Oh my god, you should remember that. No wonder his overload sucks. Well, well, we can at least increase the recharge speed so we can do it more often, I suppose. 